Jordy here for Cinecom.net and in this video tutorial I'm going to teach you how to save a look within Premiere Pro as a preset but also how to save it and share that with your friends. So right here we are inside Premiere and I've got this clip right here of someone in a car and he's so happy. You can actually see the key right here that he can take this car out for a test drive because he's actually standing right in the showroom. So that's not really good. Anyhow, I've done some color grading onto it. When I'm going to select this clip, you can see in my effects controls panel right here that I have added some RGB curves and some other things to it to achieve this particular look. Now I would like to save this look to be able to use that in other projects or even to share that with my friends or colleagues. Now to do so, what we are going to do is very simply after you have applied your grading or any other style or look to your video, select all the effects that you have applied to it, like so. If you hold down your command key on the Mac or the control key on Windows, you can select multiple effects in here. After you've done that, just right click on it and say save preset. I'm going to call this grading Jordy and press OK. And it's saved now, but where can we find it? Well, just head over to your effects library. It's right here, guys. If you can't find it, by the way, then just head over to window and it's right here you can find all the available panels. So also effects is right in here. And if you can't find effects controls, it's also right here. So just click on it and the effects library will appear. And then right here, we can find that presets folder. And if we click on it right here, guys, you can find grading Jordy. This right here is the look that I have just saved. And to show it to you, I'm going to go back to my project. And right here, I've got the clip, which is in my timeline. And I'm going to add it again to my timeline. So when I'm going to stand on it, you can see the actual clip without the grading. So when I'm going to head back to my effects now and drag the preset onto it, the grading will be applied and now you can see the effect with the grading. All right, so this is all good and well, but I would like to share this particular grading with my colleague because he's also working on this project. What I then just have to do is right click on this look right here on this preset and say export presets. And then it will ask me where I would like to save this. And for now, I'm just going to select my desktop and I'm going to name this Jordi grading like so and press save. And when I'm going to head back to my desktop now, you can see the actual file right here. And this is just a file which you can put on a USB drive or mail to your colleague or friend. Now, when he receives this file, he can import this into Premiere. So let me just show you how that is done. And to show it to you, I'm going to delete my grading first or my look. Right click on that preset again and say delete. And yes, I'm sure I would like to delete this. Okay. And now it's gone. Now to import this again, what I'm going to do is right click on my presets folder and say import presets. Then it will ask me where is that preset? Well, it's actually on my desktop right here. Just select it and press open. And there we go. It's now inside my effects library and I can use it from here. So this is how you can save a look to your presets folder, but also how to save it to your desktop, to email it or to send it to your colleagues or friends. And that was it for this very short but powerful tutorial video. Now, if you like my grading, then you can download this project file with the preset as well from the description down below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you folks soon.